Hello there everybody. Um, today I'm just going to be doing a quick little tutorial on how to get it so that your iMessages appear on both your iPad and your iPhone. Uh, I saw some other videos on YouTube and other web sites that had information on trying to help me figure this out but I was not able to get it figured out with their information. It just I would do what they said and it wouldn't work so now that I've figured out how to do this um, I'm able to just make my own little video here just so that if you guys are having the same problems as me you can hopefully get this thing straightened out. So first I mean obviously you want settings on both your apps and then I'll start at the top just for some people they might not understand it but you scroll this down keep going and you get two messages open the messages setting on both of your devices and then Obviously, you're going to want to have iMessage turned on, so that's just up here. Just toggle that, and then iMessage will be getting activated, and now it's activated on both devices. So, got that set up. Next, you're going to want to go over to your Send and Receive on both devices, and then make sure that the phone number is checked, email is checked that is linked to your Apple ID, and the phone number is also checked um, in the start new conversations from. So you might have to sign out and sign back in up here at the top. If you just hit your Apple ID you can sign out and then sign back in. That might um, be something you might have to do if these aren't popping up at all. I mean even if they're unchecked whatever we'll go through that part but um, yeah if you have to sign out sign back in to get these pop up do that and then you want to make sure these top two are checked again and then start new conversations. So now that you have those done, and you might just be thinking, I mean, you just want to get your messages activated, but for this you also do have to make sure you go into FaceTime and also have FaceTime turned on and signed into your Apple ID. And then you also want to make sure that you have on your iPhone sorry guys <laughs> didn't mean to have my mom call me there but you want to have your can be reached by FaceTime at both your phone number and your email address and then caller ID you want to check your phone number and then over on your iPad here same thing have both those checked for your um, reached at your phone number email and then phone number again. See now my message is popping up on both my devices so you know it works there. But make sure yeah, you have those checked and again if those don't show up just sign out of your Apple ID, sign back in, they should pop up and then you can pause the video or whatever to get caught up by checking the right boxes. So once you have that done then you should be all set. Um, you're not going to have to do anything else on your iPad here this the iPad is all good to go but on your iPhone you want to make sure that under text message forwarding you check that and then make sure that the iPad Pro whatever you have um, is toggled on right here if it's off just toggle it on then you'll get this code that you want to punch in um, on your iPad into your iPhone then hit allow and then you should be all set to go and you can send all your messages whatnot. Um, as you can see if I have this turned off and I open my messages here um, I'll just text myself again here and I'll send hey cannot send the message so but once I turn this on ta -da, punch that code in hit allow oh um, I hate this but you might have to just go in here and just close that app then reopen your messages then hit send and then it'll work um, if it's not working just close the app reopen it it's I don't know it's kinda stupid to, what, to me that you have to do that to get it to work but yeah do that if you have to um, if you're set on wanting to have the little blue bubbles pop up and they're not then make sure that you have for your messages go back down to 
why am I not finding it? There you go. Send and receive. Um, and then if you want to start new conversations from your email here, then they'll be blue if you don't. Now I'll close all the apps again just so I can get it to work. Um, I believe they should be green now. Never mind, it still says iMessage, which is... Okay. Sweet. If it doesn't say iMessage down here and where you can type your text, then you're going to want to um, do what I did. So, I just I noticed that if you go into Messages, you are to receive, start new conversations from, just check your email. Close both the apps again because doesn't make sense why they wouldn't be able to update by themselves but then you can type hey it'll be your little blue bubble but um, it, if it's green it's probably just because again in the settings you have the start new as your phone number I mean you can switch it back to your phone number or whatever after close the settings again then open messages again type hey and it'll still be I message so I mean it's that simple. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I hope this is helpful to you because when I was looking for a video again, I couldn't find one. And this is what I did to make it work. So give me a thumbs up if it did work for you, just so I can see how many people it actually works for. And I'm just curious to how common this problem is. Um, thumbs down if it didn't work, if it was a crappy video, just so I know that Maybe it's not helping a lot of people, maybe it's unique to me, but... Oh, sorry about that, guys. I'm just getting a little excited here, I guess. Just just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Okay. I'm going to just stop talking right now, and... Um, yeah, give... Um, give me a comment down below. If you have any more questions, it'd be, like, right down there. Just go down to the comment section. If you have any questions about this process and you need more guidance on um, how to figure it out and... Maybe I can help you out there since I have both devices too and I could just troubleshoot and then I mean all I gotta do is just go over to my YouTube app here, go to my videos, comment. I mean I'll get notifications from you too. If you comment on my video or I can do for my tube buddy. Tube buddy great app if you're looking to start your own YouTube channel, it gives you a lot of great feedback, a lot of tags that you can use, all that good information and it helps you to figure out how to make your videos more popular, so um, you can subscribe too if you're interested in uh, more of my videos. I have um, a lot of just like tech videos of certain technology that I, I've used and um, find it to be actually pretty good. Um, I have other guides on how to fix certain things that um, I've just, I guess, figured out on my own. Some Destiny stuff, not too popular, but yeah, then. You can subscribe. I got a few subscribers. It'd be cool to get some more, but I don't know. It's not a big deal as long as I got views. So thanks for watching this and give me another view. And I'll see you guys in my next video.